Hello everyone. In this video, we shall look into the difference between savings and investment. Generally, people do confuse these two terms. So let me give a small example of it. Let's assume you are in a forest and the tiger is chasing you. So you need to save yourself. Likewise, in an economy, there is a tiger called inflation. So every year, the inflation records at around 5 to 9 percentage in India. So that means your value, the currency value is getting declined by 5 to 9 percentage. So in order to save yourself from the tiger, we need to or maybe the inflation, we need to put our money in some financial instruments. So let me give four cases where the savings and investments are getting differentiated. So the first one is your purpose. Suppose your purpose is short term or maybe emergency purpose. Sir, I wanted to take my money quickly and uh, there is some reserve that I should hold maybe for any medical emergency or maybe any wedding expenses. So you need to keep some money as a reserve which you can take quickly. So we call them as a savings. Suppose if you are accumulating wealth for the future, we call them as an investment. If you are putting your money in the banks, gold, and certificate of deposits a financial instruments given by the bank the returns will be very less we call them as a savings so but suppose you are keeping your money in the mutual funds and share market because the returns will be high we call them as an investment so basically the difference between these two are determined by your purpose you wanted something for an emergency purpose you take it from the savings you wanted something for your future you take it from their investment so this is the first point second one is about risk and return people generally at the age of 25 to 30 when they start their work they will be in a position to take some risk but think about people who are at the age of 60 possibly at the time of retirement they will not be in a position to take risk this is not applicable for all but in general perspective on an average this is what happens so therefore the savings and investment is also differentiated by the risk and return that you take in general economics we say the more risk that you take more will be your returns similarly the less risk you take the less will be your returns so suppose you are putting your money in the banks you are not taking any risk because it's a guaranteed return almost given by the government of india and the commercial banks so therefore you are putting your money in the bank you are not taking any risk since there is no risk the returns will be very less probably the interest rate that they give is almost like three percent to six percentage but whereas if you are putting your money in the share market or mutual fund you are directly getting involved in the market so you get a return in double digits probably from 10 and sometimes it is also like exceptionally beat in the market it goes till 30 percentage also 30 40 even 100 percentage is possible so you take a risk and you get a high return so savings is something you don't take a risk but investment is something you take a risk by entering in the market third difference is the time withdrawal see you are taking your money back in a very short term we call them as a savings but whereas in the investment generally it is an accumulated wealth you take it at the end of your life or probably after your retirement so the time horizon plays an important role in differentiating these two terms so savings is something a very short term which you can quickly withdraw probably a year or something like that but investment is something you try to keep on accumulating it so this is the third major difference between these two and the final one is the liquidity part generally the savings you can uh, withdraw and you can quickly convert that into a liquid cash you can convert that into cash but whereas the investment it can also be done so but if the amount is quite large it may not be possible that you can quickly convert there are some procedures and formalities involved whereas the liquidity part may take some amount of time so this is how the general differences exist so to put it in a summary the savings is something that you put your money in an instrument where the returns are probably almost in equivalence with the inflation rate of the country but whereas in investment you interfere in the market you take some risk and the return will be in multiples probably it will be accumulated and it will be in more than 10 percentage so a mutual fund and a share market we call them as an investment whereas bank deposits or a certificate of deposits or maybe the gold to some extent when it goes along in par with the market performance we call them as a savings hope you have understood this any doubt pertaining to the topic please put it in the comment section thank you and see you in the next class